guys, it's Justin Hocking and Robert Iowas from O'Brien Real Estate Brighton. Checking in again with another edition of the Bayside Property News, where real estate information is on the house. So what does it mean for real estate market and more importantly for active buyers, sellers, renters and landlords needing to get from a place A to B? Of course, we've all heard of Daniel Andrews announcing the stay at home, stay three restrictions in Melbourne and Metropolitan Peninsula. Although restrictions are slightly different this time, the same applies to real estate. We are an essential service and will be able to conduct private one-on-one -on -one inspections for your properties. So if you are needing to buy, sell, rent, we can help. If you're wanting a market appraisal, we can conduct that either by a face-to-face -face inspection or we can conduct a virtual appraisal. In terms of the trends we'll see in the market, we are likely to see a contraction of properties coming on the market like we did in April and May, but we're confident we'll see buyers needing to transact in the market so properties will be selling and renting properties physically and virtually. In terms of home prices, due to the short supply of properties, this is likely to hold up the prices like we saw in April and May. And now moving on to the numbers across the state for the week. We saw 128 less options, mainly due to the hotspots. For those, we saw 59 selling prior, 157 selling under the hammer, two selling after, 91 selling passing in, sorry, and 30 withdrawn, giving us an increase in current rate of 64.3%. Private sales transactions across the state grew, giving us the highest clearance numbers since March of last year, with 1,167 selling during this week. Moving on to reviewing the numbers across the Bryan network. We also experienced our best week since early March. Over the week, we saw listing numbers return pre-COVID-19. Numbers with 72 properties launched into the market. We saw 76 properties move to under offer and 69 confirmed sales across our network with our highest sale price achieved was $2.47 billion. In the news this week, first home buyers entering the market has now hit a decade high with at least 30% of all transactions now going to first home buyers. The market has also been experiencing the largest number of loan refinances it has seen in the last 16 years. The graph shows almost 8 billion of owner occupied loans being refinanced. This week, the board of the RBA decided to leave interest rates unchanged. But the bottom line is, interest rates will remain low for a long time. There have been 17 interest rates cuts since November 2011. According to the CBA, credit card spending for the week of July 30 is up over 12% over a year ago. And online spending is up over 16%. ANZ job advertisers have risen by 42% in June to over 89,000 available zip positions. But ads are still down by over 44% from this time last year. The Melbourne Institute's headline inflation rose by over 6% in June, the biggest lift in the three and a half years following a record 1.2% decline in May. Inflation is up over 7.7% uh, over the year so far. And lastly, the weekly ANZ consumer confidence rating has fell by 1% to an eight week low. New to the market, eight Leechworth Avenue, Brighton East. Nested on a premier tree-lined street, this three-bedroom, one-bathroom, double-car accommodation, solid brick family residence stands on 655 square metres of land in a blue-chip location. Ideally positioned with easy access to Brighton Golf Course, Elite South Road Schools and Hampton Street Shops and Cafes. Tightly held in a treasured by one family for 48 years, this highly sought-after package offers exceptional potential for renovations, redevelopment or a superb new home site subject to council approval. Please call today for a private viewing. That's all for another week. I'm Justin Hocking and I'm Robert R. Weiss. Thank you for taking the time to review the week it was. And remember, O'Brien Real Estate is not a financial advisor. You should consider seeking independent legal financial tax advice for all your unique circumstances.